What is up guys and welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at second in form Val Buena. Now this guy is one of my favorite players on Ultimate Team. Reason is I tried his in form and I found him simply amazing. I did that on Machinima UK. But anyway, uh, second in form uh, Val Buena. Not many people voted for him yesterday but I just personally wanted to review him for you guys and let you guys know more about him because he just isn't going for much at all. I bought him for like 50k on the PS3 yesterday and um, I think he's like 40 K now so he is definitely worth checking out if you want to try him out and uh, let's begin with this review first up he is extremely fast much faster than what his card stats suggest because he's five foot six with extremely high acceleration he does slow down a bit when it comes down to his sprint speed but he you won't notice this as much so um, he's like I said much faster than his card stats and probably this is gonna may probably get me a lot of hate but trust me on this one and if you ever have tried um, Inform Valbuena or the second Inform Valbuena 99 agility he is probably one of the well probably the best dribbler in ultimate team in my opinion if you haven't tried uh, Valbuena you wouldn't uh, you would think this is bullshit but trust me on this one you will see in so many of these clips how defenders are having a very difficult time trying to defend against him and um, I'm not sure if I should call it dribbling when it comes down to second inform Valbuena I'm thinking of calling it magic because this is what this guy creates when he's on the ball um, he Defenders try to tackle him and he instantly recovers because he has 99 reactions and 97 balance So you would rarely see him ever on the floor But if you do find him on the ground, he will recover in an instant This guy's physical attributes are simply nothing other than amazing But moving on to his long shots and shot power This is something that you would expect You would think they would be weak because he's only 5 foot 6 But no, they're not even weak They're actually pretty strong for his size He has really good long shots as well you will see a clip where I score a really good long shot with him. It's just uh, he's really effective outside the penalty area more than he is in the penalty area. This is exactly what you need. And his passing are really... He, I think he's got 91 long passing or something like that. And his short passing are incredible. His crossing is really good as well. So if you want to play him as a far out cam or simply a central role, he fits in both of those positions. You can even play him as a center midfielder as well because he has really good passing attributes he fits in every position and say you want to play him as a striker he has perfect work rates for a striker he has high attacking and low defending this is exactly what I mean he has pretty much the whole package amazing balance amazing reactions very good at passing and crossing full star skills um, he's actually a good finisher it says somewhere uh, in his in-game stats it's somewhere in the 70s I don't believe that bullshit but I wouldn't classify him as an amazing finisher but he gets the job done if you guys know what I mean his finisher also is really good so if you love to take finesse shot over players this is the man for you but if you love a guy that just dribbles if you're a really good dribbler and you want someone that is just paradise to dribble with this is the man for you because I, I love this guy because you know you know me I don't really skill that much if I am gonna skill I just use a scoop turn with a five star skiller but I'm, I'm more of a guy that just loves to dribble past defenders with a 99 agility guy um, he's small he's got four star skill so not many skill moves are filtered out now the only negative I found about him is he's extremely weak so uh, if you don't mind that for your striker or your center midfielder or your center attacking midfielder definitely go ahead and buy him I, I, he's just one of my favorite players if not my favorite player in FIFA 13 um, ultimate team I definitely recommend you try him out because he only goes for like 40 to 50k um, his weak foot he has three star weak foot I did not feel like it was a three star weak foot it felt more like a four star weak foot at least so I did not have a problem with, the, with his weak foot so I did not put that down as a negative so just to summarize everything about second info of Valbuena his fast probably the best dribble in ultimate team I will um, I will stick to that because I think he is the best dribbler um, very agile with 99 agility really good shot power and good long shots good finisher uh, four star skills perfect work rates for a forward amazing balance amazing reactions which are almost instant very good at passing and crossing now his negative is he is weak so hope you guys enjoyed this review and as usual let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next I'm probably gonna be releasing a Castro review uh, later on today so I hope you guys stick around for that and I would really appreciate a like on this video and the next one because they take quite a while to make so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as usual guys I really hope you have a very nice day